what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i'm timmy you can call me timmy banjo if it's your first time here welcome to this channel i am timmy as i mentioned earlier and i film videos around weight loss food videos market videos and so much more so if you're interested in today's video which is the meals that you can eat and you would not gain any sort of weight make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching <laughs> Alright, now that we're here, if it's your first time here, the first thing I want you to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel somewhere down here. It is absolutely free. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave comments for me in the comment section down below. So without further ado, let's start right into today's video. And today I'm going to be talking about food that we eat or our daily food that we eat that we do not know that they are our weight loss foods okay food that we eat we consume and we do not know that this food are good for us so if you are trying to lose weight you are trying to keep the weight off these are foods that you should be consuming because they do not make you add any sort of weight and the first thing i'm going to mention is eggs can you imagine I remember growing up, people used to say, oh, eggs will make you fat, eggs will make you bloated, eggs will make you, you know, fat all around, F-A-R-T and F-A-T, that those are the things egg will make you do until, you know, we grew up, we took on the research on our, by ourselves and found out that egg is protein. Egg is like the, you know, very important breakfast that every child should have, every woman should have, and also every man should have. And you notice that with eggs, when we're growing up, they used to say, oh, don't eat more than two eggs, don't eat more than one egg. Fam, egg contains just 72 calories and about six to nine um, grams of protein. So egg is that meal that you should have for breakfast. This um food makes you full on time so you can have close to three eggs in the morning close to four eggs in even in the morning and that's about 72 multiplied by um four that's about about 288 calories just below 300 calories so if you are doing um four eggs in the morning together with your potatoes hopefully you want to keep it you know within 500 um calories or like 700 calories eggs is that meal or egg is that meal you should have in your diet especially in your breakfast for you to feel full and these eggs do not make you add weight okay so i'm talking about foods that you can eat not in excess but in moderation which do not make you add any weight so egg is the number one food i mentioned so the second meal will be oats we all know how important people always emphasize on oats for breakfast oats for breakfast that's because it makes you extremely full because it is high in fiber and those fibers are very very soluble fiber goes through your system and almost out of your system immediately so fiber is that food that will make you full almost immediately or immediately and remember to do this with very very good milk you can do the full cream milk you can do the skimmed milk you can do um coconut milk you can do almond milk whichever is your preference but make sure you read the label and make sure you are not overdoing the milk because milk also is that food that can make you gain weight if you're trying to lose weight also for your sweetener you can do honey you can do dates you can do dates powder date water and you should try and stay away from the refined sugar because that's not what you should be going towards if you are trying to lose weight so oats is that meal you want to add to your diet this is one of the foods that you can eat which will make you full on time and keep you full but do not make you add weight because of its high fiber um, content so our next meal is nuts <laughs> i know nuts does not make you like full full but yeah nuts is um granite pecan nuts um almond nuts pistachio nut just name it any type of nut you can think of these nuts are filled with good um contents such as good fat these fats are good for your body this this is not like the bad fat that we always say oh stay away from fat stay away from fat no this is the good fat the good fat in your body although they don't make you full full like the two i mentioned earlier which is oats and egg but not is you know something you can just quickly snack on take a cup of water and you'll be okay for the main time if you are hungry i mean it can you know help you go um, longer if you are trying to stay away from a full meal 
So nuts is that thing that you can quickly snack on, take a cup of water and you'll be fine. So yeah, nuts is one of those foods where you can eat and you know, eat in moderation and you do not gain any weight. So our next meal is Greek yogurt. I'm sure you're wondering, uh, 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 Greek yogurt, yes, Greek yogurt. <laughs> Yes, Greek yogurt. So before me, I even knew Greek yogurt is very, very, very healthy, extremely healthy, is when I saw the process of how it was made and, you know, what we needed to make it, which is like the um, active, what do they call it, like the probiotic thing, active, I forgot him. One eternity later. It's like the active agents that makes the um, Greek yogurt fermented or like the yogurt fermented because you get Greek yogurt from yogurt. So when I saw that, oh, this is like the probiotic uh, gut need is good for your, like your gut health. Your gut is like your stomach, your intestine, large intestine, your um, small intestine area. It is absolutely good for your gut health. I mean, some doctors recommend this for some people who are constipated, for some people who have issues with their gut. So yes, Greek yogurt is that food you can eat, not in excess, but in moderation, which will make you full and, you know, keep you, keep you the same way and because keep you the same way and do not make you gain weight. So you can garnish your Greek yogurt with berries, nuts, coconut flakes. I remember I mentioned some nuts earlier on. We have the granite, pecan nuts, almond nuts. You can garnish your Greek yogurt with it. You can garnish your Greek yogurt with berries. You can garnish your Greek yogurt with coconut flakes or coconut itself. So these also are foods. Even the berries, they don't make you gain any weight. Most of them do not have any sugar. I mean, I used to have strawberries when I was on keto diet because it does not have any sugar. Although they have um, ca calories, but they are not high in calories. They do not contain any form of sugar so you can have your greek yogurt with berries um nuts coconut flakes and you know chia seeds yes chia seeds is one of those meals too that you can eat which do not make you gain weight so all those i mentioned now imagine having a a full bowl of greek yogurt snack it is so healthy absolutely healthy hap i say hap absolutely feeling and this yogurt will not make you gain any weight so our next meal is going to be soups yeah soups is like a no-brainer for me i knew that soup will not make me gain any weight because soup is water i don't know where you're from but my own type of soup that i mean i mean like um pepper soup because i like pepper soup i like catfish pepper soup goat meat pepper soup turkey pepper soup chicken pepper soup whatever pepper soup it is i love pepper soup okay and i knew that pepper soup is like water herbs and spices and vegetables and protein there is no fats there is no carbohydrates in it as except you're eating it with, with yam or with potatoes that's like another thing entirely but i knew that soups do not make you gain weight because soup is just water okay and it depends on the type of protein you're putting in it if you're putting lean protein like seafood which is like fish prawns or shrimps like the lean protein you're absolutely good to go if you're putting like the beef if you are putting um chicken except it is lean white chicken breast that do not have fat you know if you are putting any type of other protein in it you are going to gain weight so soup on its own is absolutely good and it makes you full okay it's like drinking spicy water and being full so good soup is good for you i do not know what kind of ingredients you use in your soup is very very you know relative but for me pepper soup is the one i use or pepper soup is the one i take and i know that it is good for me this is like my number one weight loss food if i'm trying to go on like a strict diet you know for one week i'll make like a big pot of pepper soup and i just put in maybe yam some days potato another day and you know it can be beef it can be fish whichever pot it is so soup is that meal you can have that will not make you gain any weight so our next food is fish obviously and as i mentioned earlier it is one of the um, ingredients or one of the protein i like to use with my pepper soup but you should know that lean um, protein are very good for you or is very good for you especially seafood although some of them are expensive but yeah 
things that are expensive are good okay so you have the fish especially um tilapia fish catfish titus fish and please do not throw the skin of your fish away people say um, the skin of the fish is fattening they do not want to have the skin of the fish because it's not good for them it's not good for their body no most of this um, fish skin contains omega-3 fatty acid which is good for you you imagine if you have to go and buy the capsule when you have the original omega-3 fatty acid is good for you it is also present in your flax seed so please do not throw the skin of your fish away eat it it is very good for you it contains the good fat you need in your body so does um avocado pier which is like one of the important food you have to eat if you need good fat in your body so if you're trying to like um lose weight what you should take away should be majorly the carbs and not your fats and when i say fat i mean like the good fats not the fatty fatty i don't even know the fatty ones that we all know about so you have coconut oil you have olive oil you have avocado here those fats are like the good fat you can use those to prepare your food you can have avocado smoothie see avocado whatever recipes are a lot so avocado is one of those foods where you can eat where you will be full but you will not gain any weight and our last meal for today is going to be potatoes <laughs> i don't mean um chips or french fries no not that one that one has already been fried in deep fried in oil that has been used and reused and reused and that oil is not good for you it's not good for your heart it's not good for your arteries it's not good for your body so if you want to have potatoes you can have grilled potatoes and if you want to fry potatoes there's now something called an air fryer you can air fry your potatoes you don't have to deep fry it you can boil your potatoes which are my favorite i like to boil my own potatoes so potatoes is that meal where you can eat and you get full and you should eat in moderation all these things i mentioned i don't mean you should just go and start eating everything just because i said you will not be, get fat okay eat in moderation all right so a potato is one of those meals where you can eat and you will not gain any weight okay so that brings us to the end of these videos so like i said earlier i mentioned foods that we will not make you gain any weight that means you have to eat this food in moderation you cannot you know want to eat this food in excess and be hoping to still lose weight it's not happening it's not going to happen nowhere no how will it happen so eat this food in moderation and you will be sure to go down sizes and make sure you try and use um like your a dress size to measure your weight instead of a scale i have ditched this scale a long time ago me and scale we are not even friends i don't want to see that scale but you can take out like a pair of jeans or a skirt that you can use to check your weight and um, progress so that brings us to the end of this video i hope i was very helpful i hope i was very detailed if you want to see more videos make sure you let me know okay so thank you guys for stopping by thank you guys for watching this video up to this point if you made it here and you haven't subscribed what have you been doing my darling you've been looking at my fine face okay now is the time to subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel you know <laughs> give this video a thumbs up to let people in the youtube headquarters know that i'm doing good videos give this video a thumbs up it helps with the rating of my video everything i mentioned is absolutely free leave comments for me in the comment section and if you would like to see any other videos or any other video ideas please let me, please let me know in the comment section down below Goodbye. I would like to see you guys in that next video you're about to click on. Alright? Bye. Mwah.